fishermen up here having a hard time making a living. How am I supposed to jump in my boat, truck up here for 40 hours, and do better than them? It's not going to happen. It's like them coming down by me trying to survive. It's not going to happen. You know, I mean, maybe they could, but you know what? It's not. It's, so when, in return, they just take my days away. It's, it's so Because ridiculous. they're not used. And they take this license, and now they're trying to take my scallop license. The scallop license. licenses you know are happens? taken. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. See this clam right here? See this clam right here? This is how I have to pay for my 85-foot boat. Yeah. This is what I use to pay the freaking bills. Yeah. Because I can't do it. Right. Because it's got fish. it's gotten out of hand. Yeah. I can't take nothing, and that's what I gotta pay. It's ridiculous. It's not right. It's not right. I'm a hard worker. I'm married. And it, it just pisses you off. Yeah. I gotta jump in a 20 foot boat to pay for my 85 foot boat. Right. Because I can't take anything, or they're taking my license away. I got lawyer. I'm, I, I had to go out and hire a lawyer for my scallop license. Pay them a, a few grand. Anyway. I mean, you know, this is money I don't have. Right. I don't want to fight these people. I don't have the money to fight these right. people all the time. I and mean, we're but all this, in, this in this is for the long This is what I pay for my, my boat with, mm -hmm. my clam rake. I mean, come on. I mean, they leave me with an 85-foot steel boat that I can't do nothing with. And I can't, can't sell, sell it because, because nobody, nobody wants it. it. Nope, because there's, you know, they take, they've, taken, they've taken away my shark, my tuna, my swordfish. Now they want my scallops. They've taken away my days at sea. What do you leave me? I'm, I'm a whiting and squid fisherman. Big deal. What good is that? It's not good. And then there's limits on how much, how much whiting and squid you can get anyway. You know, it's, it's seasonal at best. And then there's limits put on what you can catch, what there's an abundance of. Mm -hmm. The scallop industry is not anything that's in danger of becoming overfished, yet the lobbyists are all in the people that have the big scallop boats so that the individual day fishermen, they don't stand a chance to speak up against them. Mm -hmm. they, they don't have the money, the power, or the continuity of everybody being together mm -hmm. so that the lobbyists are paid for by the people who are making the big money. We're not taking 400 pounds a day, we're taking away their livelihood, I don't think so, but this is a, an industry that's right in the backyard of Long Island, and, you know, they decided, well, we'll go through these years, and if you didn't catch so many fish in this time period, who gives them the right to take away a license that we've had on, on our boat for 30 years? You know, fish was what, $5 a gallon last summer? Who can afford to, to go from New York up to Maine to go ground fishing? at five dollars a gallon of fuel. All right, so that's come down a little bit. Now that's not as, as big an issue, but there's still the maintenance on the boats and, 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 and to pay your fishermen, to pay your crew. You have to be safe. They're forcing people to fish in conditions that aren't safe because you need to pay your bills. Yes, sure. So, I mean, many a time he's gone out in weather where I've been like, uh-oh, you know, should I call the Coast Guard? Mm -hmm. And he's out there fishing in more dangerous conditions that need be because he's trying to make the money just to, just to survive. I mean, Long Island's economy is the highest one to live in anyway. So we're really screwed. It doesn't seem like New York, it's anybody that speaks to the National Marine Fisheries about New York individually. Their fluke, what was it, their fluke, they said there were no fishing boats in, Long, uh, in New York. There were plenty of fishing boats, but their records are... are when they were doing the Incorrect. data for New York, they had one year, they had no fishing boats, and there was 275 of us. This is back in like, uh, 79. Whenever they started the food, the... Allocation? Being, a, being able to allocate what state gets what. Mm -hmm. They had us as, one year they had us as, as having no boats. And this is back when, when there was boats. So we'll now there's no boats the because there's nobody left. There's not many of us. North anyway. Carolina gets 27 percent, something like that. It's, it's, it's just, just every, everything is just way out of control, and it's been, you can't fight them. What are you going to do? You got you got hire lawyers. I mean, for I got I, I do have one for one case, but I, you know, for every every issue, I can't do it. I can't afford it, and, and I got to go to work. And the things that they send you every other day in the mail, it's written in such legalese that you really need to have some kind of a, 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 a degree in law just to figure out what they're telling you you can and you can't do this week, which is changed next week. So besides the fact that the, the, the laws are changing every other day, 
they're almost indecipherable so that you're you, you're going to be in trouble for doing something you don't even realize you're in trouble for doing mm -hmm. and then the fines are unbelievable 